The coup against Vladimir Putin is no longer happening. Yevgeny Prigozhin called it off after a large sum of money was paid to him, apparently. So the Wagner Group are no longer marching on Moscow. And one of the great criticisms of Vladimir Putin over the past two years and even before that has been his close relationship with the Wagner Group. And just as Ukraine and Vladimir Zelensky have been criticised for the Nazi problem in Ukraine that we used to hear about a lot in the media, the Wagner Group also has a Nazi problem and there are elements of hardcore right-wing fanatics within their ranks, Task Force Rusich being one of them, the Russian task force. So it's not just Ukraine that has a Nazi problem. And of course, whenever the Nazi problem was brought up regarding Ukraine, it seemed illogical because Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, is actually Jewish. So how could Nazis be fighting for a Jewish president? Well, funny enough, similarly, Yevgeny Prigozhin is also of a Jewish background. I believe his father was Jewish and his stepfather was also Jewish, so has Jewish heritage. So what would he be doing mixing it up with these Nazi elements that are attached to the Wagner group? I guess things are never that clear cut, never really that black and white. It's not as simple as, well, the lead is Jewish, therefore there's no Nazis involved. It's never as simple as that. But it has been interesting to see the people who criticised Vladimir Putin for his association with the Wagner Group now cheering for the Wagner Group the minute that they try to topple Vladimir Putin. Now, Vladimir Putin might not be a great guy, might be a horrible guy, but if he was replaced with the Wagner Group or the leader of the Wagner Group, I don't think Russia would be in any better position. I'm not sure that Ukraine would be in any better position if that happened. So if you are looking to get rid of Putin at all costs, just consider what the cost might be if he was replaced with the Wagner Group.